Real. Just um, again, your thoughts on sitting here as a Celtic player and just explain, you know, how the last week and ten days has been for you. Uh, <clears throat> I feel excited towards the game, um, but, uh, but at the same time, I want to compete to be able to be in the team. So I have, I'm working really hard towards that. Um, in terms of the past one week, I have been walking around Glasgow and enjoying the scenery and the buildings and the different culture. And people have been really nice here. So I'm settling in well. The manager said that he likes to play you in, in midfield now. You play in, or you can play in many different positions. What would you say is your best position and how versatile are you in the positions that you can play? So personally, I am I'm best in attacking related positions. So midfield attacker is probably my best uh, place. However, if um, the manager wants me to play in different positions, I'm mentally prepared and ready to play in different positions as well. How have you found um, training? Has it been much different to what you're used to? So, of course, the training style is different and the culture over here is super different. So... And when it comes to play speed, it's really fast over here and the defense style is different as well. Um, but in terms of comparing to where I used to train, I don't want to compare too much and I want to keep an open mind and know that it's going to be different. And how are you finding all your te new teammates and getting to know them as well? Uh, the teammates have been super accepting and uh, talking to me uh, in a friendly way. So I am also trying to uh, talk to them as well so that we can have that communication going as soon as possible. Of course, you, you know the manager um, from the J-League. How much of an incentive was it to come and, and play your football under Ange Postacoglu? Uh, um, I, I know him really well from Japan and when you observe his games, it's so obvious that his style of football is fun to watch and attacking based. Uh, so I'm really excited to be joining that team. And we know now as well that we'll have fans back in the stadiums next week. I just wanted to get your thoughts on that first experience of, of Celtic Park and how much you're looking forward to that. Uh, <clears throat> so Celtic Park is obviously extremely historical and at the moment Celtic is doing really well. So I'm imagining fans must be really excited to come and watch us play. Um, so my goal is to show my style of football to the fans as soon as possible and, and contribute towards their excitement. Rio, do you think that success here at Celtic and playing lots here in Scotland can help your international career back in Japan? So at the moment, my only focus is doing well at Celtic and my entire yeah focus is going towards doing well at Celtic. How, how much does it help when you're settling in at the club when you've got two other Japanese players joining at the same time? Of course, it's extremely reassuring. Um, it's nice to have teammates that I can communicate in my own language. And um, it's really important when you're playing in the game as well. So, yes, it's reassuring. Can I ask how, how big a decision it was to leave what is the, the most successful team in Japan at the moment for, for a move to Celtic? And did you speak to the likes of Kyogo beforehand to, to find out about the club? Uh, <clears throat> so firstly, um, Celtic or any team, international teams, joining um, is a big decision. Um, and obviously the success that follows lies on my own effort. So I just want to do well in my own style, in, in my own way. Uh, secondly, in terms of Kyogo, I haven't got 
like advice from him too much, but when we played together in the national team, I spoke to him a little bit about it. 11月ぐらいに代表の活動があったんで、その時にまあちらっと話したぐらいですね